I'm Greg Coleman, President of the Florida Bar. I have two things I need to apologize for today. Number one, I'm coming off a nasty flu, so my voice sounds terrible and I'm not popping on all cylinders today. Second, I apologize I can't be there in person. But unfortunately, our Board of Governors meeting conflicts with your leadership conference, and I'm not yet ready to leave the Florida Bar in the hands of my good friend and President-elect Ray Abedin. As chief judges for all of the circuit courts and district courts of appeal throughout the state, I'd like to thank you for your dedication to the third branch of government. And thank you for your time and patience in performing a very difficult job. I've been watching our chief judges from Palm Beach County over the last 25 years. And after using an old worn out analogy of trying to herd cats, I came up with a better one after watching my good friend and chief judge Jeff Colbath go through the recent judicial rotation. It's like trying to keep frogs in a wheelbarrow. You have my permission to use that. So again, thank you. P.K. Jamison asked me to say a few words about my priorities during this year's bar term. So when I began my bar year, my platform was technology. I'm only going to spend a few seconds talking about this today because there are two other things that I think are much more important and significant, especially to you. So regarding technology, the practice of law is changing at an astronomical pace because of technology. We as lawyers, judges, and as a profession must get our arms around this concept and learn to address the changes that have taken place and that are going to take place or we're going to have significant problems. If you want to read more about technology as it relates to the profession, go to our website at www.floridabar.org and you'll learn more about technology than you'd ever want to know and the changing practice. I really want to talk to you about two things today. Number one is the Access to Civil Justice Commission and number two, judicial salaries. So I am so excited to announce that on November 24th, Chief Justice George Labarga signed a Supreme Court order creating Florida's first Access to Civil Justice Commission. This commission is comprised of some of the most high profile and diverse individuals in the state of Florida all of whom have a passion for access to civil justice issues. These 27 participants include Attorney General Pam Bondi, Chief Financial Officer Jeff Atwater, judges from every court in the state, representatives from both houses of the legislature, a representative from the governor's office, and other committed individuals. Importantly, Approximately 30% of this commission is comprised of very high profile statewide business leaders. These leaders include Byron Cheney Russell, the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of the Board of Cheney Brothers, Jeff Craigsmile, Senior Vice President and General Counsel of Disney, John Attaway, Senior Vice President and General Counsel of Publix, and other noted business leaders. It's our intention to engage the business community in the Access to Civil Justice initiative. As I previously stated, lawyers have a tendency to say, ready, aim, 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 and never fire. Business leaders say, ready, fire, aim. These business leaders are going to help us solve this problem. I'd like to thank Chief Justice Labarga for all of his support in this very important initiative. We'll be convening our first commission meeting in January, and I'll be reporting regularly about our progress throughout the remainder of my term as president. Lastly, I want to talk to you today about something I know you all have been very concerned about for several years. One of the primary focuses of my presidency will be to lobby on behalf of the judiciary for an increase in pay for our judges. Since I spend a lot of time at the courthouse, I see how hard our judges work. I see them arrive early. I see them leave late. I see them with their lights on at 9.30 at night on a Friday. I think there's an unfortunate misconception by some of our legislative friends that our judges do not work as hard as they really do. It's my job to be your voice. It is my job to help educate these legislators about the important and tireless work that all of our judges accomplish statewide. This is going to be my number one focus when the legislature convenes in the spring. I've already begun the process of reaching out to Republican leaders to begin the education process about our branch of government so they have a better understanding going into session 
about the importance of an adequately funded judiciary. And what do I mean by adequately funded? Not just funding the court so that it can function reasonably on seven-tenths of one percent of the state budget, but in securing fair and reasonable pay increases for a judiciary that has not seen a pay increase in years. I commit to you to use the resources of the Florida Bar to be your voice. I, of course, work hand in hand with the Supreme Court, my boss and yours, to do whatever I can to help. As always, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be president of this incredible bar. I'm so proud of you, the leaders of our judiciary, and I'm so proud to be a Florida lawyer.